Hi, Fauzi here. Today we're going to talk about the new features in Aspen Flare System Analyzer version 14. This uh, version 14 has been released for some, some time. Uh, I just want to highlight uh, a new feature, especially the radiation calculation. I've opened a sample file uh, here for demonstration. We can also go to the resources, uh, help, right, and click what's new in version 14. So this will list all the new features in version 14, especially I want to highlight the radiation analysis, right? You can click this link to find out more details. It's basically based on API uh, seven editions, right? This is the equations for the radiation calculations, right? You can access the radiation calculations in the tip. Just double click, go to radiations, right? So it's a simple geometry here. Uh, basically, uh, we have to calculate the vertical distance as well as the horizontal distance from the tip to the point of interest, right? So that's one in terms of the coordinate, uh, which is, this is the vertical distance representing the uh, flare stack height, right? Uh, and the horizontal diff, uh, distance, this can be inputted, or we can also alternatively, we can input the, the criteria or the radiation level we want, then it will in, uh, calculate the distance, right? Uh, what is, uh, uh, the distance for that particular radiation level, right? So uh, other input is basically the stack diameter, the fractions of uh, radiated heat, uh, the fractions of the heat intensity transmitted, and uh, the wind speed, right? So it's always assuming, it always assume that the wind is blowing towards the uh, point of interest, right? So I've added few to add a point. You can just click this plus button. I've added the different radiation level. It, since I add, I input the radiation level. It will calculate the uh, distance, right? Uh, and it will also tell you what's the typical uh, maximum exposure time. Right, so I will also just add one more. For example, uh, in in instead of radiation level, I might just put let's say one fifty meter. Right, so it will calculate how much is the radiation level at that point, and give you uh, protection level required and the maximum exposure time. Right, so this is a simple calculations uh, for. Uh, getting the uh, preliminary uh, radiation level from your uh, flat tip, right? So what the key advantage is you don't have to go to another software, uh, all your uh, fluid compositions, the flow rate is actually already, uh, you have done the calculations in this flat system analyzer, right? For the hydraulic purpose. And now we have the additional capability to calculate the uh, radiation calculations based on API, right?